It's your boy, I'm Time here, bringing you back with another video. I recorded a COD video because I got nothing uh, games in mind, but I'm pretty bad at COD. And yeah, I guess I, I was just warming up, so that's why I'm pretty have the crappiest score ever. So yeah. Alright, um, I'll try to record some videos over the break, but but before we start this story time, can you please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified. Also, give this video a like, so let's begin. Uh, this story begins a couple months back. It was fall around the time where fish is impossible to catch. Do you guys remember Joe from The Lost Phone? Yeah, he's in this video. So Joe, if you're watching this video, you understand. But continuing on the story, we were just fishing one day and everything was fine. We got nothing because I'm bad at fishing or more like there wasn't any fish at the, at the time. We played some music, we joke around, everything. But then out of the blue, there's this man, a very old man to be precise. Um, we just saw him came down this path with the smallest bike ever. Um... This guy came here, and the old man said, Hey, have you seen my friend? I think I answered, or maybe Joe said, Uh, no. He said, okay. And then he climbed up the he climbed up this wall. Because from where you're standing, there's this dam looking, and you have to climb up to fish, basically. So the man did that, and, like, for me, for me, it was... I was like quite nervous but I just let it go so the man went towards us and what this guy said has a lot of profanity he said you catch some fucking fish we said no and then this man asked us if if you want to know what happened back in his days I said sure why not so he begins telling his story where he caught this big fish and then he it snapped his line, and he said, "Oh fucking damn it, this man has so much pr profanity." I gotta say, to be honest, this this man is insane. Um, I believe he was drunk at the time, but he was just waiting for his friend. So we continue on fishing, and then he goes on the story where he saw this alligator. Damn, the way he explained it made me laugh to this day. He said, "So me and my buddy." We're just fishing, and then all of a sudden, a fucking alligator jumps right at, at us. And it was like, gah, 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 gah. I was like, holy shit, that's a big motherfucking alligator. I swear to God, this man has so much profanity, you can't even imagine. Me and my friend, we're like, okay, yeah. And now, thinking about this, I just want to laugh, to be honest, because the fact is so funny that we just talk about him. And whenever we talk about him, me and Joe, we would just laugh at our asses out there. So, the main continue about another story I have no clue about. I then text Joe and said, let's get out of here. I realized I didn't look at, I realized he didn't look at his phone. So, I tried to get his attention, but it didn't work. So, we just continued fishing. And then soon, the man said, okay, I'm, I'm going to head out. He then offered us some worms, but I think we took them. Not really sure, but whatever. He left with his tiny bike, and we continued fishing. All of a sudden, we spotted his glasses and his lighter on the ledge. And you might be asking me, how do you know this on the time? Well, it's because he had it on him. But uh, then he left, so we didn't know what to do um, with it, so we just left it there. And then I thought he might come back for it. Yeah, we never see that. We, ne we never saw that man ever again. So, if you guys like this story time, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell. But life lesson for today, uh, don't hang out with sketchy people. I don't know. And Joe, if you're watching this video, you know what I mean. Damn, he was funny as hell <laughs> when we talk about it. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll make a new video soon, so peace.